This goes beyond decorating our first topic today because when you strive to add meaning to the moments you create in your home, it fills your space with an added element of love. My first guest this morning says it's easy and it's fun to fill your home with heart. This February, Cami Packer joins me in studio with her six ideas for cultivating a love nest at home. I love that. <laughs> I think it's so cute. Looks, being, yeah. I mean, it's such a fun time to focus on the romantic love, but also expand it to the family. We have so many pressures in our daily lives, and sometimes that works our way into a relationship. So yes. any chance we can get to strengthen those relationships, just connect, create a little connection, is worth it. And we have come to know and love your style, which is simple but meaningful and thoughtful. And That's I feel so nice. like just your small little ideas on this beautiful table are bringing that warm feeling, that love nest feeling. I do love simple. So <laughs> I'd like to know it's a compliment. It's the biggest compliment we could Thank give. You. Let's start with this heart banner down okay. front. It's so cute. So this is just really simple. We do something similar for birthdays. We hang up pictures of the birthday child. And I thought, well, why not hang up pictures of us and cut them in heart shape? Sometimes that helps you evoke those feelings of love when you see that person, maybe on a hard day in the shape of a heart you yes. think okay you know I really do love this do you person. sometimes cry when you hang up the birthday banner I do every year oh my every goodness every time every how birthday. did you choose what photos I like the black and white as well something about black and white stops and freezes the emotion I kind of like that I didn't want to spend a ton of time you know scrolling through to find the perfect picture I just chose pictures that were easily accessible on my phone and then just did in black and white so they all match and there's little lace drippings and ribbon drippings <laughs> to support it on a mantle or in a prominent yeah. place in your home yeah I think we've had lots of people stop and just look at those lots of people in our family oh, yeah. so. every photo is a memory and memory is love it is it is yeah. next you say simple construction paper can bring meaning to your messages yes. we've been doing this in our family for years and years and we hold on to them they kind of become treasures they're just oh my god they're just construction paper cut out in hearts, and yes. we give one to each person for every person in the family. So okay. everyone gets a stack, and you write something you love about each person in the family. Uh huh. And I've just been surprised that even teenagers will stop and look at their hearts. We hang them up in our kitchen on the cupboard, and you, I always see people just staring there. Sometimes it's hard to see to say what we appreciate or love about somebody face to face, but it's easy to write it down, mm -hmm. and then you hold on to that and. You know, we all need to hear that. Especially those siblings that sometimes. Those siblings, <laughs> yes. <laughs> My big sister really does love me. She really does. There's something that we can build on there. And I you, you so save good. these? I do. I save them. I just write 2022. I write the little year, year and then just paper clip them together. Okay, this is so sweet. And to go back and see the it's handwriting. It's kind of fun to go back and see and like what yes. they were doing that year, what they appreciated that year, what meant a lot to them. I understand there's a little game you play as well to foster the love. Yes. This is like a spin on the newlywed game for the family. Okay. And it's just, so you just take a question. We've got questions in here. Do I dare? Yeah, if you okay. want, if you dare. All right. Do I have to answer it or do I just get to read the question? Well, depends I, on the question. Yeah, depends on the question. If this person could go anywhere on a vacation, where would he or she go? So you're guessing so for you're the family guessing. member? So they write it down. We just use a chalkboard. You can use paper or dry erase mark or dry erase board. Yeah. And then if you get it right, if you guess the, what they said, then you get a point. What is this person's favorite show or movie? If this person could travel in time, when would he or she go? Good question. It was, we were kind of surprised. Some things we weren't surprised, but a lot of things we were, we were surprised. And I think the key to feeling loved is feeling known. Yeah. And when the people around us know the little things about us, like what our favorite candy bar is, they were it's easier to share the big things with them. I like that. So, yeah, the little things swap so easily, but the yeah. bigger things sometimes go unsaid. They do, yes. Okay, there's a way to extend. We saw a printable, by the way. That's available on our website. Thank you, Cami, for that. Yes. And those questions will be on there so you can easily print and play. That's so fun. The love can extend beyond the border of our own home to yes. neighbors and friends. I think one of the best ways to connect is to come together and make something for someone else. Share the love with somebody else. So here's just some ideas. Yes. Like just making... From choosing a few neighbors, choosing a treat. It's not supposed to be perfect. We just did like paper bags and we just painted stripes or painted Cute. hearts or you did the thumbprint hearts where you stick your thumb in, in paint and then just make a thumb, make a heart out yes. of your thumbprints. And the, the, the point is not to have it perfect. The point is to have it homemade and that you all contributed. Everyone played a part in, in sharing this love, whether they helped pick out the treat or helped pick out the neighbor to, to give it to. Um, or made the tree or made the packaging, everyone kind of works together to, 
to bring this about. Everyone has a buy-in. Yes. And so then everyone feels the benefit, right? Yes. They feel the effects of that love or that service. We work service. together to do it. And sweet. I think that's really good. So sweet. All right, we spotted a little photo op that you staged in your yeah. home. And this is kind of a silly, fun way to bring out those vibes. It is really fun. I think anytime you have a photo op, a photo background, it turns like a snapshot into a keepsake. Totally. And so I think it's fun to have them simple. You could, I used um, like wrapping paper or craft paper. Uh -huh. And then just streamers, or you could do cut out hard out of cute paper and I think it would be fun for a grandma to have this up all month at her house and then when cousins come over or you know aunts and uncles take take the time to take a picture together cute so you set it up you stage it and then when it's not like a forced moment no whenever... it's like silly and lighthearted, and it I, I wanted it to show the relationships I'm totally doing that that's so cute so cute great for Nana's as well all right this treat is is, is personalized yes this is a personalized fortune cookie and so these are just store-bought for fortune cookies and then you can put your own fortune in them how do you, um, are they so not rolled they, they are rolled so what you do is you get a wet paper towel and wrap the fortune cookie up in it it's okay. not dripping wet but it's wet okay moist. and then you microwave it for like 22 seconds 22 uh -huh. 25 and it should be soft and if you quickly work you can pull it pry it apart take oh. out the take out the fortune cookie add your own Add your own fortune in, and then it's ready to go. Okay, that's so cute. So it you can customize. Fun. You can customize. I will say, if you want to make a personalized one to your spouse, make sure it doesn't get mixed up with the kids. <laughs> <laughs> it might be a little awkward. There's the traumatize them, and there's the PG-13 pile. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but it is fun. Like one year, we told them we were having a new baby with a fortune cookie, oh my and you, or you can say like a fun activity you're going to do as a family, or just simply something you love and admire about them. I love it so much. A simple chocolate dip and some sprinkles, and you have yourself a darling treat that has that meaning has that fun Kimmy these ideas are fantastic what difference have you felt these ideas make in your home or with your family well I think those big experiences the vacations the memories those are wonderful but it's really the day-to-day -day little experience that stack up over time yes. to create those good relationships it's all about the little simple things and the things you can do at home I found that those make the biggest difference in our relationships and can I point out I love that you document with the photos and the photo ops like I love that you document the daily because I think sometimes the memories that we take with us from childhood to adulthood are the yeah. ones that were saved and, and appreciated. Yes, I think so too. And we take the pictures at Disneyland, but let's yeah. take the pictures of these meaningful moments at home too. Cammie, we love you. Uh, thank you so thank much. You. You Where can we get more from you? I'm just on Instagram at Camilla J. Packer. Camilla J. Packer. We'll link you over from our website. And again, go there for that free printable to play the newlywed game family style.